And for this part, um, what you want to do is set up something that you can actually tack on your uh, pieces of cord to. Uh, what I'm using here is just basically a piece of wood that I've uh, clamped down to my workboard, and then I've put a nail in there um, where I'm going to put the cord onto. That way, I can use two hands to put it together. So um, you'll have three pieces of loose cord. Uh, equal length like I said it's about an arm length uh, to make the nice uh, length cord and for this one here uh, to, to start off with you're just gonna put a little a light little knot in it and really the knot is is for uh, holding the strands together once you finish the cord um, there's a different a little bit different technique you can just tie it to that piece of wood if you want or to that nail sorry and then uh, you can start uh, braiding it so it's it's really uh, an easy technique for braiding if you've never braided before um, you'll always have uh, your your pieces of uh, cord laid out uh, there's gonna be two on one side one on the other and when you're braiding um, if you ever braided somebody's hair before perhaps uh, like an older sister or whatnot what you're going to do is you're going to take that further outside cord, so the one on the on the two strand, and you're going to pull it across to the other side, um, so that is underneath that other cord that's there. And now you'll have uh, the yellow piece here, which is the furthest away. And what you want to do is you want to bring that over to the other side. And now you're starting to braid. So it's always the furthest out, outside cord that you want to use. And um, so this next one's going to be blue. And you always want to put it on the inside of that other next piece there. That other piece. And then you can just continue to make your cord. So whatever outside cord is the furthest is the one that you want to put into the middle. Yeah, so the, now that you have uh, braided your cord to the length that you want, it's time just to tie off the ends. Um, what I've done is just put a really loose little knot at the end of this, just so that when you're working with it, it actually doesn't uh, start unraveling for you. And what we're actually going to do is we're going to put a um, an extra piece of cord around here to make a loop, and then that way we can tie it together like this. Um, so it loops back on itself and when you put your your bead or your piece of uh, wood onto the end of your cord it's just going to uh, fit through that little hole uh, nicely so um, what you'll need for this part is just tie off the end here and you're just going to make a small loop at the very end it doesn't need to be very big maybe maybe the last inch uh, cord or so maybe an inch and a half a cord and uh, just enough so that you can actually pass through whatever you're going to put on the other side of your your cord with, um, with this bead. Um, and then you're going to take a, an extra piece of string here. And just like this end of the cord, you're going to make a loop that comes back on itself at the very end here. Um, this is to help to slip the cord back through. I'll show you what I mean in a second here. I'll show you what I mean in a second here. So, um, yeah, so you're going to take that loop and you're going to lay it over, just over top of your, your piece of cord here. And you want enough so that when you're wrapping up your cord, there's a little extra piece that comes out of the end here. And that piece you're actually going to pull through with your... Uh, you're going to pull the other string around or pull the other string through with it. You'll show so what you mean in a second here. So that little extra string is going to lay off the front here. And then you're going to cinch it up, just hold it where you want to start your your piece of cord with so that your loops out the end, your extra string um, loop, the end of that piece of cord uh, has come all the way through as well. And then with the, uh, the cord itself, you're just going to start wrapping it around. And all you're going to do is you're going to start it from the, the front here. And you can do a couple little wraps as you can see. 
um, that are going towards the end and then just reverse it. And all you really want to do is maybe, um, maybe just put on two or three of these. You don't need much. Um, what it's doing is just holding the, that piece in place. All you want to do is actually just hold that loop on your cord in place. So just a couple wraps and you'll, you'll see. In a second. So there you go. Just the two or three wraps. And with that end of the cord that you have now, you're actually going to stick it um, into that loop that you made in the beginning of this wrap. And what, what it's going to do is you can hold that, you put that through that loop of the loop, the actual loop of the, the end of the, the loop that you made that you wrapped around your cord. And you're going to put the end of the string when you finish your three wraps, four wraps, you're going to put it through that, the, the whole of that loop. And what you do now is you, to cinch it on there, what you're going to do is you're going to actually pull the cord towards itself. And you can see it kind of moving up. You'll see that cord move up and you want to pull that whole loop through. Um, just cinch it in place. Okay. And then you can pull it back with the other string. And you just keep maneuvering in place and tighten it down. And what it does is just creates this nice little uh, wrap at the end here with the extra string. It's a bit of a tug of war, so just give it a good tug and uh, make it so it's nice and tight. You can just pull both sides. So once you've done that, you can see the loop is created at the end of your, your, your woven cord. And you'll have all these extra pieces lying around. And you'll just trim them off. So you'll just take yourself a pair of scissors or a knife and you can just trim them off. And uh, with mine, you can just, since I got a little straight knife here, I can cut it off nicely here. And all this, all these cords here that you have left over on your your piece of woven string, woven string, you can actually just cut it off right here, and then trim it up closer with a pair of scissors um, to get that done. Or you can just put it onto the wood here, just like I'm doing, and just cut that right flush to that uh, piece there. And when you finish it off, um, you can just cut it off with, you can just put some uh, nail polish on the end and that will just bind that up nicely. And there you go. You have yourself uh, the end part of your wrap. And you're gonna do the same thing with this end now too. So you can pull that right off there. This side we're gonna do a little bit different with in the sense that we're gonna actually put the bead onto it. So just hold it down where the, where the, uh, where the knot was, or just hold it nice and firmly at the top here so the knot doesn't come undone, or so that the, the woven piece doesn't come undone. Slip that, whatever piece you're gonna put at the very end of your, your cord, and you're gonna put it down there. And then you'll have uh, pulled the cord through. And you're going to do the same thing with this part here. You're going to make that loop around there as well. So there you go. After you've uh, tied both your sides here, um, you can pass your your bead, your hollow bead through the, the hole here. And uh, that just goes around your neck and it should stay in place. And uh, what we'll do to clean up these ends here is just cut them a little bit more flush and then add a little bit of clear nail polish towards the end of there. We'll just uh, finish it off nicely and when it comes to putting it onto your your paddle that you just made um, 
just going to wrap around the paddle this way and you're going to do the same kind of knot kind of slip knot right there and that'll hold it in place and there you have it you have your paddle that you made pendant from the day and the cord that you just wove this afternoon yeah so when you're attaching this to your paddle um just make sure that when you pull it uh I pull the cord around that the the ends are even that way it, it falls nicely on your neck and then um, you're gonna do the same same technique here so you're just gonna take your your extra piece of cord uh, create the loop in the in the end there hold that up against the edge there and just start wrapping <laughs> 